here's two fascinating points about Julius Caesar that you might not know. These are the two principles that he lived by from the day he was born to the day he died in the most unceremonious way possible. Rule number one that he followed was you always have more options than you think you do. I'll say that again. You always have more options than you think you do. Everything is possible. The second piece of advice that he followed his whole life is that always do what is least expected. Always do what is least expected. Now you might say, well, that means people would be capable of anything. That's the whole point. When you play by the conventional playbook, there's only so many moves. Any discipline in life, whether it be sports, the arts, politics, engineering, the real winners, and if you don't like the term winners, the real game changers are the ones who are most willing to think outside the box. Now, when Caesar entered Rome for the final time, when it led to his obvious assassination, spoiler alert by the way, he had a choice. He could have disbanded his army or kept his army. Now, if he would have disbanded the army, a catastrophic thing would have happened. He would have been arrested. And for such an ambitious man, he was willing to put thousands, if not millions of lives on the line for his own glory. Now, I'm not saying that's good at all. I'm just saying, you got to try to get in the minds of these type of people. How are they capable of such great things and or evil things? I'm not saying he's good at all. He killed more French people than most wars except World War One and Two. Now, they were called Gauls at the time, and it's a long story that, trust me, I'll be making so many videos about the Roman Empire, the later stages of it especially, that I won't get into it too much here. And I'll just add this. Vercingetorix, who was the king of the Gauls, who fought Caesar, was kept alive by Caesar for seven years, just so Caesar could parade his uh, shackled body through Rome and then he killed him the next day. So he literally kept his opponent alive for seven years just so he could be basically a glorified war trophy. That's the kind of thing that a man like Caesar does. He's extraordinarily dangerous and there are people like that today. I'm not one of them. I would never uh, put down my own principles in the sake of glory. Anyone who wants to have glory ought to do it the good honest way by being smart and working hard. Have a great day.